Hey everybody, it's Lon Seidman. I know a lot of you have been interested in these high-speed Ethernet adapters I've been getting in lately, so I've been getting more and more in. Uh, this is my latest acquisition from a company called Mavo, I think. I've never heard of them before. This is a 10 gigabit Ethernet adapter that connects over Thunderbolt or USB 4 if your computer supports it. And of course, this will go down to 5, 2.5, 1, and even 100 megabits per second, depending on your network type. This one will be one that I recommend for Mac and Linux users. And if you're a Windows user, you should probably watch anyhow because the driver situation on this one is quite shady. Now, I do want to let you know in the interest of full disclosure, this came in free of charge from the manufacturer. However, this is not a sponsored review. They did not review or approve what you're about to see before it was uploaded. And all opinions you're about to hear are my own. So let's get into it now and see how this Ethernet adapter performs. Now, the price point on this comes in at about $139. There's currently a coupon on their website. Before I go too much further, for around the same price as this one, you can get the OWC 10 gig adapter. That is from a much more reputable brand. It is fanless and quiet and I've been using it for years and I love it and I paid a lot more than what it's currently listed at. So that would be the one that I would suggest before we even get into this one here. But this is kind of your similar run of the mill, uh, cheaper 10 gig adapter. It has a fan on board. It's not running all the time, but once you do anything on the network adapter, that fan spins up and it is quite noisy. In fact, it was even noisier than the little mini PC I was testing it on when I was using it with Linux a little bit earlier. From a performance standpoint though, it works pretty well. I've got it connected up with my Mac at the moment. And don't hate me, but look how fast my internet connection is. We'll do a quick check of my speed. And I've got a 10 gig, a 10 gig uh, connection to Comcast with my 10 gig adapter here. And as you can see, we're getting download speeds that I would consider to be what you should get out of a 10 gig adapter. My upload's a little slower, it just could be network conditions or whatever. When you have an internet connection this fast, it's often hard to find the speed test server that will work properly. I did test it with iPerf on my local network a little bit earlier and the speeds were consistent, close to 10 gigs in both directions. Now, from a compatibility standpoint, this is running with a Marvel AQC113 chipset. Uh, this is also known as the Aquantia chipset. And on the Mac and on Linux, it worked fine without having to install any drivers. Everything just got detected automatically and we were off and running. Windows, though, is another story. When you plug this into your Windows computer, it's not going to be able to install the drivers automatically, at least at this moment. So you have to go and find a driver. Now, where do you get the driver? Well, you have to look on their Amazon product page here. And if you zoom into the product description, it says that MacBook users have a plug and play experience, which we did have. We didn't have to install any additional drivers. But for Windows users, they want you to contact them via an Amazon message to obtain the download link for the drivers. So this is the link that they give you, and I am running this through my VPN just to be safe here. Uh, what you will notice here at the top is that the site is not secure. It is not HTTPS, so that's strike one. Uh, it's all in Chinese here. Thankfully, the driver you're looking for is right here at the top. And if you click this to download, most of the time you get some kind of error here <laughs> in Chinese, and you can't download the driver at all. And to be honest with you, it's probably for the best that the driver doesn't download. What that Chinese says, I translated it earlier, is that the connection timed out. Now the drivers are available directly from Marvel and that is a much more legitimate source, so I will point you in that direction. I will put a link to this down below in the video description. And when I did install those drivers, Windows performance was as expected. And that's where I'm going to leave it with this one. Normally when a product isn't so great, I don't even bother making a video about it. But in this instance, the Windows driver issue here is so shady, I want to warn people not to buy this one. That'll do it for now. Until next time, this is Lon Seidman. Thanks for watching.